Keep the copper strip and then diameter and then press the foot. See how this is made. Then we'll show you the building of the strip with that thinner strip. The pressure gauge you can adjust the pressure over here for welding one mm thick copper strip with bimetal strip. You have to keep the pressure at about say 40 psi like this. This is air filter, it's a drain knob. Every evening when you go, just drain the water knob from here. Separating the water for pulling the electrodes and the path of secondary. Yes, at the bottom we have the foot switch that is used for welding. We will show you by keeping the no weld, we will show you the how the operation takes place. This is how the operation takes place. For welding, you should always have some job in between the electrodes. Otherwise the electrodes will burn off. So when welding keep the job between the electrodes. Now we turn to weld and show you the welding. Or 
This is the button you have to press. Again, you can press the set button. That serial number is selected. Now we will go back to serial number 1 by pressing this again by making it negative. Then this is now serial number 1 we selected. This actually we selected for welding bimetal strip with the copper strip 1mm thick. Now you can go to program. Then again press the set button. You will see we have selected 25 cycles as the squeeze time. Can be increased or decreased. This is a weld time that we have set for copper to biometric strip. This is 8 cycles we accept. Can increase or decrease. This here is the 4 cycle that we kept for 8 cycles. Can be increased or decreased. This here is the repeat timing that is not required here. Again, when you press the set button, you come to the heat percentage. For this, we have kept 40% for welding copper to biometric strip. Can be increased or decreased. 40% is okay. For this program number 1, that is rule number 1, has been selected to weld copper strip with the biometric strip. One of them thick. Here is the repeat and single cycle. We always have to keep on single cycle. This is the no weld and weld switch. For welding you have to keep towards the weld side. And this is the analog switch. Now schedule number 2 we have selected for brass to diamond strip. Now this is schedule number 2 selected for welding brass strips with bimetal strip 1mm thick we will show you how we have program when you set the button you will see again squeeze time growing this is the 2 cycle skip for weld timing for brass to bimetal strip this is the force timing this here is the repeat not required this is a heat percentage 38% it is selected to weld brass strip with the bimetal strip 1mm thick you set this button again. Now this rule number 2 is selected for welding 1mm thick brass strip with diameter strip. Similarly when you want to go back to rule number 1 again press this serial button press here then you make it negative then you come to rule number 1 again set this button so the rule number 1 is selected for welding Copper to biometric strip. Keep the copper strip and then biometric and then press the and we'll show you the building of last strip with that. Thinner strip. strip with the diameter. We have to go to number 2 by pressing this knob up and then pressing this set button. Then going to positive side. Field number 2 is selected. Again press the set button. Now go to program. We have arranged the setting for the schedule 2 like this. Squeeze time 25. Well time 2 cycles, void time 8 cycles, repeat 1 not required. This is a hit percentage 38%. And this chrome is set for the last step to biometric step. It will show you now. Thank you.